other game this season, but we're talking about turnovers in this team. How frustrating is that, particularly after last night's performance? Well, obviously we turned it over quite a bit there in the first half, not as much in the second. I'm honestly more frustrated with their defense in the first half. I thought our second quarter defense allowed too many easy opportunities, and then they got comfortable. Uh, they made shots. I mean, they made shots all night. But I think a lot of that had to do with the, their level of comfort in that first half. When you have a team that is just shooting that well against you, I mean, is, is there anything that you can do to slow that down? You know, we tried different defenses, um, tried tried guarding them different ways, tried leaving people, and, and I just felt like everybody on their roster, everybody who was in the game was knocking down shots. And so um, just it's, it's very frustrating, obviously, when you're trying to scramble around, you're behind the eight ball there, um, trying to find ways to defend. Renaya didn't score until the second quarter. Was there something that Kentucky was doing specifically to prevent her from getting looks? Well, I think they, uh, Ryan Howard does a great job defensively. I think it starts with that. Uh, Renaya had a great look uh, opening possession. Got, got herself to the basket and somebody came over, I think, made a good play and tipped it. Uh, she wasn't able to score it. So we had a few good looks, didn't go in, and, and obviously Ryan Howard made it hard on her. You talked about last night when you all were on that 15-0 run. You said the best thing you were doing was getting stops, and then tonight you it was hard to come by. What's the difference in this team when you're getting stops versus when you're not? I mean, wh where's where's the line there for you guys? Well, I think when you're when we're getting stops, I think it gives us confidence, um, and we probably come down and play a little better on the offensive end. It also opens things up in transition a little bit for us when we get some stops. Um, and our players were new it. We were just. You know, we would have a busted coverage, so to speak. We'd have a miscommunication or mis-execution, and I, they capitalized on every mistake that we made. Kelly, what, you got two weeks between tournaments. What, what uh, besides probably getting a little bit of rest? It's a long season. What, what do you use these two weeks for? Yeah, you know, it's. I think this is a this is a unique time um, to to be able to one, get rested up, get recovered, and then really try to, to stay focused on some of the fundamentals, but also it's an opportunity maybe to find something new and uh, keep the team engaged in, you know, in practice. And, and I've, I've always liked putting things in during this time just to, just to keep it fresh and, and lively. We'll probably get up and down at some point, get some scrimmaging in as well. And um, I want them to feel good about this time, and, um, but also try to get something out of it. What is your argument for why you all are a tournament team as opposed to being on the bubble or whatever? Well, I mean, we tied for third in the SEC. I think, you know, the SEC is a pretty good league. And we, we did what we were supposed to do. We, we don't have any bad losses. And, um, you know, I think we've been competitive in a lot of games, 20-plus um, wins. I think we've got a good argument. Kelly, Jordan Horston had probably her best performance, I think, since 2020 came around. She said uh, when she came into this game, she just wanted to win. How important is that? I know it's kind of almost a, a given, or you think that it would be a given, but how important is that for a player to have that going into a game? Oh, I think I think Jordan showed um, a lot today. I think she showed, and I'm not talking about her scoring. I'm talking about her fight and her um, competitiveness. It, it showed today. And you know it wasn't wasn't easy. It wasn't going great out there at times. And I tell you what, Jordan Jordan found ways to fight and and tried to make plays. Um, and the only to, only reason I was taking her out because she was exhausted because she was playing so hard. So I am really really proud of her and in her effort today. Renaya had a bit of a tough couple of games, but she's the kind of player that can bounce back. Do, do you worry about her psyche, or do you realize she'll she'll just bounce back? I think for her, she needs she can bounce back. She needs to process it. She needs to see where she can be better. She needs a goal. She needs something that um, you know we can challenge her with, and and she'll bounce back. Thank you. All right. Thank, Thank you, guys.